dearest mindless conformity, as the most salient yet least necessary element of human activity, I am deeply puzzled by your impressive track record. The list of your deceptions carries many insidious undulations and folds within the slithering pool of your shiftless mass. You are the supreme hijacker of thought by virtue of the momentum riding upon your thoughtlessness. It is not a kind paradox, a charade, a plague, a rampaging wildebeest of the unquestionably valuable thing. You evoke a daring limbing thrust which propels itself over the edges of history and curbs the shape of the future. Bravo! Many have lost their souls in your wake. You've shown us the apex of developmental disability parading as normalcy in your attempt to straitjacket the hounds of hell, those questions your existence attempts to deny. You've succeeded in brandishing a legion of comatose followers and divesting the human race of the greater portion of its dignity. My contempt for your self-submission, parading as the epitome of collective conquest, is as deep and infinite as my love for the creative will and the individual who redeems and absolves themselves single-handedly by their own internal guidance, by the violent beauty of perceptual whim, the solipsistic tirade and sublimation of passionate curiosity, unmitigated by this degrading hamster wheel, the ideal of your ordeal. By all accounts, you are the perpetual motion machine on whose achievements many scientists have staked their lives. The inveterate Ouroboros par excellence in the core of its abstraction, changing its forms throughout the ages, you are dissipated only by those who can break your mold, pushing tremors into the labyrinths of civilization and evoking a call to rise. I shall dismantle you from the inside, reanimate the placid corpse of your will to assimilated oblivion, undo it from the curdled mishmash of its depths, and push you into the glimpses of a potential you're too afraid to pause long enough to see. I will undermine the reflexive cruelty which you do to your indentured servants and cast you headlong into the void, liberating the beings you have shackled so that you must invent respect and create new values without a safety net. This pointless farce and encouragement of cave dwelling, a navel-gazing circus of reactivity, a monster of personality erosion, is not the full utilization of anything save temptation for the air of irresponsibility while blanketed by the invisible and nebulous authority that is the sum of all unexamined thoughts and behaviors, and for which you employ the use of others as mirrors through which to channel your borrowed creeds as a substitute for the refusal to individuate. Warmth without fire, action 
without persuasion, effect without cause, life that heckles over and consumes itself. You are the sieve through which the shared illusion of culturally sanctioned values are poured. As such, you are a nihilism bent on remaining unconscious of itself. I am the shockwave rider, here to assist the burgeoning consciousness waiting at one end of a bridge that has not yet been crossed. The bridge made for a destiny and reluctant to bring that destiny to the fore. Swaying in the middle are the victims of a recursion half bought into, a confusion wearing the mask of dogmatism that secures itself into the pendulum balance of timidity and prosperity, one diluting the other and wheedling it from glory, tapered into implicit agreements of behavioral and semantic operations in its quest for the maintenance of equilibrium at the cost of truth. A sharper and cleaner world lies at the horizon, but only swimming will achieve the destination. I will saturate your creeds with luminescent orbs I have found at the brink of oceans. I will provide you with the image of such a natural and inevitable ordainment of majestic chaos as to render the dismantling of conformity the most seamless orchestra of alchemy and revolution the universe has ever known. Until that time, I shall watch you closely and ingratiate myself in your mechanics to learn them better, in order that I may prepare the antidotes. My face will be one in the sea of millions, and the theater of my body will leave you none the wiser. I am the villain who pines for your destruction, the dancer of a future making a prayer for sight, as interpreted of Milton's paradise lost by the great romantic dreamer, Percy by Shelley, and culminating in his declaration of rights. Awake, arise, or be forever fallen. Exhorting a dance upon the clouds of oblivion, Lysander Runestone, and the avant-garde of wonder.